everybody, and welcome to another episode of Good Time Gal. I'm your host, Caitlin Palufo. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today on the podcast, we have Casey Balsham, who is hilarious. Very funny. She's a comic. You've seen her all around New York City. Um, she's great. She just had a baby. We get into it. It's very fun. You can follow her at Case Face B, C A S E F A C E B. All right. She's very funny. Go see her live whenever you can. She's hilarious. You're going to love her. Um, follow me at Caitlin Palufo. Follow the pod at Good Time Gal Pod. Um, and come see me on tour. I am all over the place. If you are watching this day of, I will be in, I am in Providence, Rhode Island right now. Uh, <laughs> I know I time travel. It's incredible. Uh, but I am in t- uh, uh, at the Comedy Connection in Providence. Get your tickets <laughs> for the last 10 minutes and uh, come see me live. I'm also going to be in Knoxville. I'm going to be in uh, Louisville and then I'll be opening for Fortune Feimster for a bunch of dates. Um, I'm also going to be in London opening for Mateo Lane. So go on my website at uh, Caitlin Palufo, my link tree at Caitlin Palufo. Check out my dates. Come see me live and uh, subscribe, like, tell a friend about the pod. That really helps. And if you're watching us on YouTube, please leave a nice comment. It helps the algorithm. I don't know why, but it does. Apparently it's magic. All right. So do all those things. I love you so much. Thank you for tuning in and avoid and avoid. Enjoy Casey Balsham. All right. Just do it. You're going to love it. Peace. Holy heck. Casey Balsham. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for joining we, us. We've done a whole podcast before. I know. Started this. We really <laughs> chatted. We got to the nitty gritty. We, we did all of it. Yeah. We went back in time. We, we went into Caitlin not drinking. Yeah. I told her she should. And, you know, and we're and now here we are with non-alcoholic beers because they didn't have water. Yeah. <laughs> So cool studio, guys. <laughs> Welcome to the podcast brought to you by Athletic Brewing Company it's today. Not bad. It's not bad. It's very good. We yeah. buy it all the time. I drank this actually when I was pregnant. And but the crazy part is that like I would drink a lot of non-alcoholic stuff when I was pregnant, but they've made it look so real yes. that I feel like I, I was literally just walking around being like, not, not, it's not, <laughs> it's not, it's not. Like because people would just like look at me like mm-hmm. you're ordering a beer, and I'm like, I'm ordering a fake beer, but it does look pretty bad seeing as I'm like fucking nine months pregnant but teach it's, their own it's fake live mm-hmm. your life mm-hmm. all right yeah no they don't deserve to ask questions your body your they choice really don't. Okay. truly and honestly I uh but the reason I have these is because my good friend Polly who was just on the pod mm-hmm. uh I was up at her place she lives two hours north in Connecticut okay. I was doing egg freezing I just finished you did. egg freezing because yes. we talked about this yes. yes did you do it in Connecticut no I did it at home uh, with Dr. Klatsky. You, you did! Yeah! <laughs> I swear to God, I, I think I'm keeping, I, I'm single-handedly <laughs> keeping not only the female uh, com- comedy community uh, informed and frozen, but also I think I'm single-handedly keeping spring fertility in fucking business. I mean, they were amazing. <laughs> it was so great. He's great, isn't he? He's great. The nurses are great. Like I said, the only, the only sometimes they're a pain in the ass to deal with billing wise, but like, you mm. know, it's not even like you're going to give them the money. You yeah. Know? It's, it's like, it's fake at this point. Like the yeah. numbers that they ask you to pay, you're like, you don't really want me to give you that much money, do you? And they do. Um, yeah. But he's great. Oh, he's I'm great. so glad. Yeah. We froze him up. And so I was doing the process. And mm-hmm. so I knew, because they say it's four times what your period is. That's the emotions that you're going to feel. Mm. And I was like, okay, I know I'm going to get sad. So I'm going to go see my good friend, Polly, who mm-hmm. lives up in the country. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> I know I'm going to get sad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to be it's a fair. sad sack. It's so fair. Here we go. Okay. And so I went up and I brought everything. Uh, we were having a party for my for our friend Kelly's birthday, and mm-hmm. so we got these. I got these beers because I'm not drinking, mm-hmm. and uh, we were getting all set up. And I was like, I brought all my medication. Can't shots? wait. Got my shots. Doing bathroom shots. Bathroom mm-hmm. shots. Mm-hmm. Really look like I'm doing heroin. Mm-hmm. And- no, it's wild. I would have to do them at like Gotham. Like, yes, I, I did like I, I, yes, I've had. I had to do like a trigger shot, like literally, because you'd have to take them mm-hmm. at a certain like an exact time. Yeah, it has to be uh, like 14 hours or whatever before the retrieval. And I yeah. literally, I think I had to take it at 10, and my spot was at 10:15. And it was just like downstairs, like, bah, 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 bah. and then on stage, like, hey, my mom's crazy, right? It was just like, it was fucking wild. Yes. So you brought, so you brought the, brought the, brought the, uh, brought both meds, stabbed myself with one, and then mm-hmm. realized I didn't have the other needle. Which, which, which one? The Ghana, the Ghana left. Ghana left. I didn't have the Ghana left needle. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, Whoa, oh, oh, God. And mm-hmm. they're supposed to be taken at exactly they the are? same time. Mm-hmm. 
And so I literally was like, Polly, I got to go. And I put everything in the car mm -hmm. and just drove two hours home crying the whole time. And Can then I, I finally, I'm like, there. just call the doctor and mm -hmm. see what they say. And she's mm -hmm. like, oh, I wouldn't lose sleep about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, like, I no. lost a quart of water from my face. <laughs> you're like crying. <laughs> you're like, I had to put a full tank in. <laughs> um, I actually, I was doing um, a weekend at uh, in Atlantic City. Mm -hmm. And I got the call that like I needed to start meds for a cycle. And so I like did a show, drove home in the middle of this thing, drove back home from Atlantic City, oh. got my meds, drove back back up the next day oh so my i've been there no. i've been there wait can i ask yes. um what the outcome was outcome we got uh they retrieved nine eggs great and eight were mature mature amazing yeah so we amazing. have eight eggs okay we got eight eggs we got eight eggs and i felt very insecure because whenever i talked to someone they were like i froze my eggs when i was like 29 or 30 and they were like i got 33 eggs and i got 20 and i was like is there something wrong with me that I only have like 10 follicles or whatever? No, 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 no. I, no. I hope that they made hard. you feel like yeah. not that way. Rosebud also made me feel good. She was like, calm down. Listen, <laughs> it's all gonna listen, be okay. the Klatsky crew is strong. Do you know that's also, uh, uh, I don't know if I can say it, but there's another comic that just got pregnant there mm -hmm. as well. Oh, really? That did uh, IVF there as well. That's great. Yep, yep. Ugh. So it's truly the, the Klatsky crew is... <laughs> Solid. We're here for each other. Yeah. Dr. Kladsky, I'm still waiting for my discount. He tells me medically they're not allowed to give me a discount. He's like, it's actually illegal if I were to give you any kind of discount on medicine for referring people. And I'm like, but how about still do it? Well, let's, I want baby number two. I mean, <laughs> let's talk about baby number one. Oh, Gigi, she's the best. I mean, what a cutie pie. She's the best. And I honestly feel like because she was an older egg, she's chill. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, she's also tired. So she was part of a batch that I... <laughs> She was a she was a thirty nine. She was a batch that I did when I was thirty nine. Wow. So okay. and then got pregnant at forty, delivered at forty one. So wow. like it truly like nothing fucking matters. Like yeah. science is incredible. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean I do feel my mortality when I like wake up in the morning and my back is so stiff. That, like <laughs> the, for the first hour that I'm like, oh, mommy can't pick you up until she does her stretches, <laughs> and like that part will make you feel like, oh, I should have done this when I was twenty two. But yeah. also you, the kid probably would have yeah. had tattoos on their face. Like, yeah, I was yeah. Not, I was not stable. <laughs> no. Um. But she is, I had her, like, literally the second week, I was like, I could do this again. People are like, you're fucking insane. And I'm like, no, she's she's so awesome and she's so chill. And people prepare you for a war. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, people mm -hmm. are like, get ready. You get ready for this. And it's like, what? Get ready for unconditional love and affection <laughs> and somebody that needs you. Like, it feels wonderful. Oh, that's very sweet. I love her. That, her name's Goldie. Her name's Goldie. What a great name. Thank you. Very her sweet. Name, her name's Goldie. Her middle name is also a G. It's after Robbie's late brother. So it's a very strong Israeli name. Her name's Goldie Gilead. So we call her wow. Gigi as well. That's so very cute. I got two names out of one baby, which is, For a, is a move. Good. It is a move. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Goldie? Goldie was just a name that we kind of, once it got in the mix, we both kind of were like, that's the one. Because I loved the name Sydney forever. Oh, that's a good name. But then I gave it to my sister for my niece, because my niece is very much a Sydney. Yeah. And I said, All right. listen, because she, she was thinking about Ozzy, and I was like, you Please have Sydney. <laughs> have, take Sydney. I can't allow you <laughs> to be. No. I will not have a niece named Aussie. Yeah, because even Robbie's like, because what if she's ugly? You can't be ugly and Aussie. <laughs> yeah, no, you definitely cannot. Do you and know then what they're I mean? doing the bat ripping off thing. It's too it, much. It's they all weird. And I'm like, an, and, and then you have a nickname of Oz. Like, are you okay if your daughter's just called Oz? And she's like, no, I hate that. I was like, then you can't name her Aussie. No, you definitely can't. Cute could be a cute name, but there's lots of downfalls. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I said, Sydney, Sydney is what she looks like. Sydney is what you should name her. And, very sweet. and we had already kind of settled on Goldie. So there we go. There she is. That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how have, how uh, has it been drinking wise? Because I know you love a little booze. Yeah. I'm so since sound. the babe. Yeah, I love her. I love booze. I love wine equally. Um, <laughs> I saw a story where you were like, my favorite part of the day is putting my baby down and then having a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I love my child. But when she goes to sleep, it's the best. Um, I, I, yeah, no, no, no. I, I definitely, it's kind of been a steady, like since she's been born, because I will tell you my doctor um, did like, like it's really not that you can have a glass of wine or two when you're pregnant. Like mm -hmm. there really isn't like the first couple months, their brain is developing blah, blah, blah. So like, be careful. <laughs> Don't then. do that. Okay. But like, got it. but like at the end, they're a fully cooked potato. And like, I was going to France at one point and my doctor was like, have wine. And I was like, yeah, she's like, fuck you're in France. And I was like, yeah. I 
I am going to be in France. And she's like, then have a wine. She's like, don't make it every night. Don't have a ton, but like have a glass or two and make sure it's good. And I was yeah. like, no, I can do that. Yeah. Um, and then the last couple of weeks before, like when I was, when she's like, the last two weeks, I think I was mm-hmm. like, I definitely probably had a few glasses of wine, like sporadically throughout the two weeks because she was like, I don't care if you drink every night at this point, she's done. And I was like, well, I'm not going to do that, but I will, <laughs> I will have like, I think I went to like a steak dinner and was like, and was like kind of just like indulged in a few things. Like, I think I started eating sushi again. Like I really, mm-hmm. I didn't subscribe to this thing that moms have to be um, miserable while they're pregnant. Yeah. And I'm not subscribing to having to be miserable now so it's like if you do the research you can really find things that say this is why they say don't do it and make your own decisions so yeah. so uh with that being said yeah i try not I'm, I'm not getting wasted and sticking on her tit but like i <laughs> will have a glass of wine at night and you know i did have a camping trip where i probably fed her in the middle of the night a couple high noons in. <laughs> yeah yeah maybe but, she's a chill baby. But also she's chill. She was tired. But it's like so, so little goes into your breast milk that I like. Oh, really? That, oh, I didn't yeah. realize that. They make no. it seem like it's like food that to you, breast. It's they do. They yeah. really do. And I was just like, there's all these um these sites that like I follow now. Because I'm on but I mean, truly, you can find anything you want on the internet. Mm-hmm. That's and true. What I found was people that said it's okay. <laughs> I did cherry pick every what study, I but found, yeah, it was uh, a bunch of numbers that said it's not that bad. Yeah. So, um, yeah, not well, they get- used to be smoking cigarettes I mean- and <laughs> basically huffing paint when they yeah, were pregnant. And they all like, we Whatever. have is cancer. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of cancer. A lot of us have cancer. It's but. in the water. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, from it's the, booze the hormones or the in the food. The blah blah. <laughs> yes. um, but no, I definitely have been like, yeah, I have. I. It's like it's it's almost like more enjoyable, like mm-hmm. you know, because it's it's a little sweet treat. Oh my god, at mm. night and it just like having a glass of like a cold glass of wine, like when she goes down and putting on a dumb show, <laughs> you're just like, this is, this is the this is the the dream. You yeah. Know? It's what are you watching? We just started Tulsa King. What's Tulsa King? It's With- Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> who is a mobster who gets relocated to Oklahoma. You heard it here. Uh, <laughs> and it's really stupid and fun. And then, of course, I've been uh, on my own time because Robbie Refuse has been catching up on all the seasons of Vanderpump because Gold- oh, Goldie I really see- likes it as well. I so. keep hearing about this va- this Vanderpump. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I've never seen, I didn't realize I had so many Vanderpump heads mm-hmm. that I was friends with. I think it was a secret. And then that... It's like scandal cocaine. happened and yeah. everybody was just like, oh, we've been shooting up for years. Exactly. I had no yeah. idea. It's exactly. It's like you don't know who does cocaine until you do cocaine. And you're like, oh, everybody. <laughs> oh, it's everybody. Oh, every single person I know does it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Everybody does Vanderpump. <laughs> it's it's such a good because it's like when you watch from the beginning, you think surely these people have grown up. And then you realize every season the exact same thing happens. And then here we are. And it's still the same thing. Somebody's mad at somebody. So they didn't invite them to some something, mm-hmm. which was Katie for Sheena's wedding. And somebody cheats on something. <laughs> It happens every single season and it it never gets old. It never gets old. I got to tell it's like it's fun every time. You're just like you're 40. I remember trying to watch it when it first came out because I loved all the Bravo shows. Yeah. Well, I love like Top Chef. (laughs) I realize that. Very different vibe. Yes. But sure. Yeah. It's on Bravo. Bravo shows with skill. Like also like uh, Project Runway. And so I was like Vanderpump. Oh, it's kind of (laughs) like it's like running a restaurant. It's like restaurant week at. Anyway, I was wrong. Uh, and Very I much. <laughs> trying to watch it and be like, all these people are so beautiful and they're working at a mm-hmm. restaurant. Yeah. I can't watch this. But it's going to be LA. bad for my self esteem. That's literally, though, I worked at a restaurant in Santa Monica and everybody I worked with was the prettiest person I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> like, it, it, it's honestly wild. I, you know, I've worked in restaurants for a decade and mm-hmm. I started at ones in Los Angeles and you're just like, yeah, what are you all doing here? Yeah. Like, you should be famous. Yes. But, there's 85 million there's That's they true. all are gorgeous and they all yeah. are actors you know but it is wild they're yeah. all very pretty at least in new york when you work in a restaurant it's they're all gross like, they're disgusting trolls they're yeah. the they're the character actors yeah <laughs> they're like you can see like their back hair and stuff yeah like, you know, like they're they trying to be theater majors the away <laughs> They're just gross. gross. The side back hair too, not even just yeah. down the middle. Just they the come side. up to you sweating like you want water also <laughs> besides food. This is terrible. Like uh, I'm also thirsty. How about an athletic brewing yeah. company? Look Shout out this. Athletic Brew and Co. I mean, thank God for them. We bring I them know. to parties and we're like, see, we're hip. Huh? They listen, they've really the it used to be like just 
St. Polly girl or whatever. Yes. Or there was like one type of non alcoholic There's like non-alcoholic champagnes, sparkling mm-hmm. wines, regular wines. There's non-alcoholic salt. Like there's 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 so much now mm-hmm. for people um, to not feel like uh, part of it when they go to a party. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Like I drink a lot of this, uh, this company called Shirley did a sparkling rosé. Ooh. Um, it's very good. Okay. And it tastes, it's like not like, it doesn't taste like a lot of them taste like kind of like apple juicy and sweet. This one tastes like dry uh, sparkling rosé. It's Ooh. really good. So I drank that when I was pregnant too. So. Okay. It was nice. And I, I drank that when I was when I was, was like going nice. into my transfers and stuff like yeah. that. So mm, yeah. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. So you got pregnant with Goldie at 40? Yeah. So I uh, had been on this journey for like- um, How dare you? Uh, I know this How is a uh, spam you. call I'm from kidding. the Bay Area. <laughs> they, 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 they pull on my heartstrings with a 650. I see. Whenever I see a six, I was like, my mom's been shot. <laughs> I know. And then you're, and then they're like, do you want to do yeah. fucking, we got your credit card information and we're going to release your porn. And you're like, what? You know, it's so stupid. Um, so I- I had been on this journey for like five years, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, we had tried naturally. We did IUIs and all that stuff. Um, and then, yeah, and then I, I had like one last hurrah on Fire Island with my gaze. Mm-hmm. I, I got blackout drunk, did ecstasy, and then didn't drink for a month and then implanted Goldie. And uh, then went to Scotland to do my hour show on infertility for Fringe. Wow. And then five days into Fringe doing a show about how I can't get pregnant, I found out I was pregnant oh in Scotland. Oh, my God. And it was a wild experience because then every night I was like telling the story and but also like you know, getting blood work done in Scotland to like mm-hmm. make sure and on and like emailing the doctors and like doing this whole thing and like kind of still being like, am I like it felt I didn't feel real. Yeah. Um, but yeah, full blown 40, full blown 40 and then <laughs> delivered at 41. That's amazing. I know. How was Scotland? I uh, Scotland as a country is beautiful fringe as itself. Do not recommend. Really? It wasn't my thing. No, it, it just you have to have a lot of I will never talk somebody from going from not doing it, Mm -hmm. I just would uh, put like the expectations to let you know, like if you don't have, there's certain things that you, if you don't have, you won't be successful there. Like the minute I got there, before the shows even started, I looked around and went, I'm behind. Like, cause you're not established in the UK. I didn't have crazy producers. Mm. You, You like, they didn't have an app, so people can't find the shows as easy. Uh, so okay. I was doing an hour of very vulnerable material for like six people most of the time. Mm, okay. In a venue that was like sticky. Oh no. Sticky and you dark. You don't deserve sticky and dark. Come on. Goldie didn't deserve it. No, that. she didn't. That was she her was intro trying to mom. Grow. Oh God. <laughs> She's, She's like, like, Mom, you deserve more grow than this. and mold. Yeah. yeah, we just met, but you're like, we got to work on your self esteem. I thought you were kind of successful. No, sweetheart, she's no, not. Honey, ramen for you <laughs> forever. I craved ramen so bad when I was pregnant. Oh, really? I ate so much ramen and so much cherry coke. It was as if I was like only buying food from gas stations. It really? Was wild. Oh, I craved you got a little trash baby. Huh? I craved so much shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was it was very wild to find out there and then be doing the show. Yeah, yeah. that's incredible. That's cuckoo. And then also be there for a month and like not be able to like drink or yeah. do any of that stuff. That's I actually took my test early because it was, you know, Scotland doesn't ever get like hot, hot, but there was like mm-hmm. three days where it was like perfect weather and I was like I want a beer I yeah. want to sit out and have a beer I had my last hurrah in Fire Island I went big and then I didn't drink for a month and I'm like and I just don't think I'm pregnant like I don't feel like I just didn't feel like I was pregnant yeah. and I was like let me just test because I just want to drink a beer and then it was like <laughs> the lines were like dark and I was like <laughs> And then again, and, I, and I've told this many times because it was a time difference and I was living with Anthony DeVito. He was the first person to find out. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Harry Anthony DeVito. Mm. Well, geez. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Harry, Harry Uncle Anthony is, was the first person to find out I was pregnant. And it was uh, it was wild. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. That's incredible. Yeah. It was well, fun. congratulations. Yeah. It all worked out. Yeah. And then I made him drink the way that I would have drank. Good for you. Like, we'd be walking home and I'm like, don't you need like a walking home beer? He's like, I see what you're doing. And yeah. I'm like, I, if I can't do it, you gotta yeah. do it. Talk about a surrogate. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> okay. We're having fun. Hey, whoa, 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 is this thing on? <laughs> it's hot, it's hot. <laughs> oh my God. There, something I wanted to ask you. I totally forgot it because then we brought up Anthony DeVito. I know, I sometimes he really, he really tanks a yeah. lot of conversations. <laughs> the minute you say DeVito, it's oh, like. Oh, tell me about this hurrah in. Oh, Fire, Fire Island. Island. Oh, what yeah, happened? Yeah. <sighs> Listen, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I, 
Sometimes I think by doing Pinot Grigio shots, I'm not going to get blackout drunk. And uh. the thing is not what I'm shooting. It's the shooting itself <laughs> um, is what I've realized. And so we just, it was just one of those days where you just drink all day and then mm -hmm. you like, you know, like five people all chew a little bit of ecstasy. And then you're just like looking for Newport cigarettes for, you know, all night. And, um, and then you get sunburned the next day and then you go home and you're like, I'm trying to be a mom. <laughs> and you walk out of Plaza Suite on Broadway starring Sarah Jessica Parker and Matthew Broderick and you go home and you go get it together. And that's what happens. And I say, and I say, and that was the last time that she gets blackout. Oh, really? It was a fun last hurrah, but it was definitely a rough one. Because you know when you get older, it's like hangovers are... Yeah, they're, they're no joke. They're nasty. That's part of the reason I had to stop. And I was like, sunburn. <laughs> so it's like I was sunsick. I was throwing up because I was sunburn yeah and i was hung over for like four days yeah. <laughs> and i spent three hundred dollars tipping drag queens i was like who's got that kind of cash it was a lot <laughs> it was too much but that's ivf money <laughs> it was it was yeah i owe that to dr class i know um, dr class like you spent what <laughs> no you did not huh um but it was like i kind of knew it was going to be my last one and then yeah and then and then and then and then no drinking for a month and then we implanted and mm -hmm. There she was. There she wow. was. When do you think you're trying to, uh, or do you just want to have it? Like, are you planning on doing another egg retrieval, or do you know when at all you're like thinking about? We could only afford to do one yep. egg retrieval, mm -hmm. so we did the one. Yep. Um, and we were very happy with eight eggs. It's great. And then, and we, has Stephen had a sperm tested? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Great. <laughs> great sperm. Great. Steve's got great sperm. Good. Great strong. That's swimmers. all you want. You want numbers. You want shapes, and you want them moving. That's all you want, and it's. All you got to do is aim in the cup, boys. You hear that? It's easy as pie. Easy as pie for you guys. It's not fair. <laughs> He's a straight shooter. He's yep. a straight shooter. They're, yeah. They're swimming. They're moving their heads and their tails are in the right places. <laughs> Truly, he should pay more because we have to do all this stuff to our bodies and he just has to have alone time with a cup. That's what that's I, I do a whole thing on stage and like it's like I'm, I'm like I'm cold. I'm hot. I want to swing from a chillin' in the air. I'm laughing. I'm crying. I'm running into traffic. And he's like the cup. And I'm like, yep. <laughs> That's your portion of the pro yeah. programming. Makes Thank you. So mad. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, he's got good swimmers. Good. Um, and so we, when I talked to Doctor Klansky, Doctor Klansky, he was like, "We should check in when you're 39 and see if you're ready to have kids. If you are, start trying. If not, we got to do some embryos." Yep. So uh, that's so. And how I old do you now? 36. Oh, great. So I got three years of yep. fun in the sun, of ecstasy-filled nights in Fire Island. Do it. And then I will uh, decide when the time is, like 39 is the next, like, okay, yeah. check-in point. I like that. Yeah. So yeah. I feel so much better. I mean, the whole process it's, was It's nice, awful, right? But now oh, it's yeah. Like a, yeah. It's yeah. nice to just kind of be like, it's there. Like, I wish when we started trying when I was 36 that I knew more about what it all was mm -hmm. gonna be like because I might have tried to start that earlier but also you know Robbie went through better jobs and all that like we mm -hmm. there was no way at the beginning we had the money where we could have yeah done that and mm -hmm. then it like luck like not luckily the pandemic but like I got like a PB what one of those like loans oh that, yes. like we paid for one round with like, yeah we also got uh, we were lucky enough to have some friends and family help us out mm -hmm. um, because, yeah, I think all in we were it was like 90,000. Wow. And that's and and with one round that was covered because once Robbie got a writing job, mm -hmm. we got we got like a lifetime expense that happened to be one of the very few ones that Spring works with this company called Carrot that oh, companies can yes. add on. And they're just they're just they're, hurt. they're just <laughs> a fertility insurance and they seemingly are very great and wonderful and we were able to do one more oh um, nice one that more was, thing with them that was the goldie one goldie was the one right before so oh. we did we had i did two rounds with one doctor mm -hmm. um and unfortunately he, uh, the protocol that i did with that doctor just wasn't for me because it's the same process wherever you go but some doctors just do different things with medicine and do different parts of your cycle so i got seven eggs and 11 eggs with mm -hmm. that resulted in only one embryo mm. and it was a boy and we implanted him like two summers ago and he didn't take um but i also then had to get a fibroid removed and then we found out with dr klatsky that i had a septum like you just don't know what's going on yeah. up there until <laughs> somebody's like up there with a wand a being cave like, of wonders <laughs> shit happen you got yeah. shit up there and you're like yeah. well get it out yeah <laughs> get it out and put a baby inside <laughs> when um, he had his wand inside of me wild. which is what a thing to say but to be able to watch it it's kind of incredible yeah. to be like Ooh, he was like, here's your iud and oh you have a cyst <laughs> i was like Thank you. Yeah. I do have a cyst. Yeah. 
<laughs> but it's like wild because you're like would have never known unless never. somebody had a camera in my stomach <laughs> up my guts yeah it's it's wild so yeah so i did that with that guy and then when i moved on to klatsky he changed medicine and then i got uh a lot more eggs with him but but because of my age, not all of them were great. Mm -hmm. um, and so then two rounds with him that had 30 eggs and, and 27 eggs, but only resulted in five embryos mm -hmm. between those two rounds. And Goldie was in the first one. Oh, nice. Which is, but it's funny because she actually, because they'll give you an update once you start to do the embryos, they'll give you an update on like day three, mm -hmm. what is impregnated, and then you go to like day five, and then that's when you find out some more stuff, and then they send it, it all to genetic testing. But on day three, she was piss poor quality. Really? She was not, I was like, or we were like, that one's not going to make it. And then by day five, she was like the best quality. And then wow. when she came out of testing, she was the best quality one. Wow. And she, yeah. So Look we go. Look at that little, she was a little sea biscuit, uh, huh? She was my little <laughs> double A babe. Um <laughs> So we have four more babies on ice. We have two boys and two girls on ice. Wow, what are you going to do, boy or girl? See, that's the things I don't know because, like, I think sisters are really special. Sisters are 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 special. As his ladies, oh my gosh. <laughs> There's only sisters at this table sisters right now. Sisters at this table. Fonzie, do you have sisters? Yeah. They're the best, right? The best. See? Sisters are special. And I can use all the same shit. Yes. <laughs> it's economical yes but also having one of each could be kind of fun. i mean what are you norman rockwell get out of here i know i know i know i know because also like no. i have a nephew he's a, he's my best friend mm -hmm. he's three we like the same shit yeah. um but like he's a fucking he's wild jesse's yeah. son my sister's yeah. son is mm -hmm. he's um he's wild yeah boys are wild it's kind of crazy that you get to pick you're playing god i know and that's why i don't think i because they're all about the same quality like we knew she was the best quality so we knew we we're doing a girl yeah um but i think i might just be like do yeah, it. flip Do a it. coin or something. Yeah, I might like, but have it's Klasky kind of, pick. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. To have him in the embryologist, but that could also be that is also kind of wild to be like, you pick my future. Yeah, I can't handle it. You know, or just whatever one's the best quality. They're all the same. They're ah! all. They're all. That's what I'm no! saying. All four of them are like A, B, and B, A's. So they're all kind of the same. Um, I know. That's tough. Uh, if you want, I'll pick. <laughs> I'm like, Dr. Klatsky, I know that uh, we only could have a few people in the room. Could, could uh, Caitlin Palufo be one of them? Because I need her to Hello. help me make, you know her. I want you've seen that her, one. You, you've seen her cyst. Yeah. You're familiar. She's tough. She'll do it with a backpack on. That's what her uterus says. So, yeah, no idea. But I do want a second one. I mm -hmm. do feel strongly that kids need each other to at least have somebody. Because mm -hmm. like, parents, we, we, we're going to fuck them up. Oh, yeah. You know what our parents did now, you know, you learn is was wrong. Not wrong, but like just we're doing different stuff now. Yeah. And now this gentle parenting thing, I'm sure will fuck up yeah. our kids. And, the, <laughs> and and I also feel like the phones will fuck up our kids. Like our, oh, yeah. our kids are going to grow up being like my parent. My mom was always looking at her phone. Yeah. Like that. that's how we're going to fuck up our kids. And so I think that kids need another person mm -hmm. to have to say Commiserate. like was that weird when mom used to make us like dance every morning or like was it wasn't isn't she what are you doing to isn't Goldie? she crazy <laughs> like i think that they need each other to yeah. be like to, to talk about how crazy yeah. that i'm inevitably gonna be as a mother I mean, you fun. need somebody yeah fun you, i call someone else <laughs> someone else to because you can just if it's one kid the mom can control the narrative that's what this I'm saying. is normal <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah i'm like but if i didn't have my sister i would have just been like who can i talk to about barb like <laughs> You know, I'm like somebody. Need, I need to talk to somebody about Barb, mm -hmm. and it's like if I didn't have my sister, Can I, you I would just be one person being like, "Does anybody see what's happening here? <laughs> like she's crazy. Help!" I just remembered something. Can you please recap some of the gifts you've gotten from Barb? <laughs> you told me once when we were just hanging out, and I was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> oh, oh. Well, when I was 30, she did send me an ice cube tray because she told me I needed to freeze my eggs, and I was not, and I didn't think that was very funny. <laughs> But then I also was like, I don't think this is how you do it. Um, uh, she sends me Jewish Christmas ornaments, which is just very, you know, I'm like, you know, that this you're not supposed to have a tree. Um, what else? She, she sent. Oh, she sent me a weather vane one time for my New York apartment. <laughs> like, mom, I don't even have outdoor space, let alone a roof that I have access to. Um, she's twice sent me a dancing Santa Claus that sits on your toilet. Twice. 
two Christmas. Two, <laughs> she couldn't remember if she sent it to you before. She's like, she needs to have two this. Christmases in a row. I've gotten a Santa Claus that, like, as you shit, is like, mow, ho, ho, what's the night? Like, you know, that, like, <laughs> makes some, like, poop pun or something. And you're just like, Robbie was like, burn it. <laughs> burn it to the ground so you burn it and then another one just comes it, in she the, th- the thing too is that i she'll be like i have all this stuff that i need to send you and i go please don't spend your money she'll spend 75 dollars sending me a box of stuff that i throw right in the garbage can <laughs> like just just christmas just weird shit notepads weird f- like just stuff she gets at like the sale rack at tj maxx and yeah you're just like i'm like mom i don't i don't need it I thank you for this, this expired kettle corn <laughs> Just completely like yeah. she's just like, I don't even know what like she just she sends the weirdest shit. And she's like, well, I just thought, you know, or she sent Robbie a uh, um a wire art uh, a guitar, <laughs> like a guitar made of like a wire bending. And Robbie well, was like to rock. <laughs> she she's like, because he's a guitar man. That's what she calls him. And I'm like, yeah, but um this is this we're not i'm not a coffee shop in new mexico you know <laughs> like i don't need wrought iron art like like you know i'm not wearing patchwork skirts and yeah. putting this shit up in my house so you're not just, phoebe from friends exactly oh. so yeah barb is barb is wild but um has she met goldie she has met goldie Aww. she has met goldie she thinks that i hold her do- hold her too much and i'm like Wow, Listen, this is the thing with parents. That's crazy. Because they put us down. They left us alone. <laughs> yeah. They think that when we hold them, we are fucking them up. And I'm like, you say that, and I say, we're fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I say, you fucked us up. I'm holding my yeah. shit. I'm holding my daughter. She was expensive. <laughs> yeah. I do not want her to get fucked up. I don't want to. Do you know what I mean? She was yeah. ninety thousand dollars. Like, yeah, that's expensive. I'm holding her. I, I never take my ring off, and I'm sure it wasn't even. Um, one ninth of that, <laughs> right? Could you imagine? Yeah, having a a thing that squirms that is ninety thousand dollars that can't even hold up its own head. Yeah, that sounds Shits terrifying. In its own belly button, it's weird. <laughs> How does it shit in its own belly button? Sometimes it travels to the front. <laughs> oh my god! You know? Is there anything that's happening with pregnancy that you did not expect? Um, besides it being incredibly easy, apparently. Was, no, no, no. My pregnancy actually was tough. My, really, I puked the whole way. Really? The whole time. Yeah. I puked. I was a big puker. Big puker. Big puker. Big puker. I puked. I mean, I, and then when you get going to contractions, you also puke. So like I was like really? contracting and puking and my IV popped it. Like the first 10 minutes that I got to the hospital to go into labor, <laughs> I was like, throw me out the window. I can't do this. I don't want to be here. I don't want to meet this kid. Everything sucks. Um, <laughs> Also, the first like three months, the meat, the thought of meat is disgusting. Uh, I also um, smells like I, I feel like everything would make me. I had to throw away perfumes. I threw away candles. I couldn't. Laundry detergent was my biggest. Laundry detergent was my biggest trigger that I still can't smell a certain really? this, certain tide. It still makes me puke. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Like I made my dad rewash all his clothes when he came to visit because he smelled like that. And I was like, it just it, it reminds me of throwing up every morning. <gasps> so it weird things like that um uh i again i craved i craved soda like i've never craved anything before mm. um and then you read all these things and they're like don't drink too much and i was like how about one or two a day <laughs> um <laughs> but no just and just that i kind of you know in all honesty i thought i'd get huge and i didn't and i kind of really was all belly oh, i really nice. with the way that i was like it was like I when, once I get pregnant, it's over for every like I'm doing whatever I want. I was like living on uncrustables and soda. I was literally eating like a gas station whore, and and sh- and she was all belly and she was all belly, which was nice. So yeah, so that was that was kind of a pleasant surprise. But the throwing up was not something I was yeah anticipating. So I really hated pregnancy until I was like really pregnant, mm-hmm. and then I was kind of like it's just kind of fun because you're just like walking around and people like are like oh god bless you mommy and like things like in the street and like it, that part was oh, really the good cat calls yeah the good ones where people would just be like you look great and I'd be like ah like that was and I always want to do it when I see a pregnant woman but because it felt so good yeah but then I'm like is it weird but it wasn't weird when it happened to yeah. me I always loved it but yeah but so that was kind of an interesting but you're also part. like a fun loving game person you know yeah I had that face it's like just chat yeah you can chat to me <laughs> yeah let's have a chat you're like yeah talk about my belly I love it just Woo! Chat it. this chat is an expensive it. belly <laughs> I know and surprisingly only like one or two strangers touched it 
Oh, wow. That's pretty they good. They say that a lot of strangers touch it, but I only had, I think, after a show at Gotham, one time a lady came up and was like, oh. <laughs> and you were like, oh. <laughs> yeah. She, and it was fine. She was like this older woman, and you're just kind of like, oh. I had cute. a friend who was pregnant in LA. She had a belly. Yeah. And I think she's still pregnant. <laughs> uh, I think she has a couple, like one more month. And I came up to her, and I was so surprised that the it, the urge was so strong to touch mm-hmm. it. So mm-hmm. I like put my hands behind my back, and I was it's like, wild, look right? at you. And she was like, you can touch my belly. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, Okay. <laughs> and then when you touch it also, like people get kind of nervous, but like you can really get in there and see, like, cause like my sister would always be like, feel her head and like dig my hand into her stomach. And I'd be like, please, I feel like I'm hurting you. But then when you have the baby, I would like take Robbie's hand and be like, touch her kicking, <laughs> feel her hiccups, you know, feel her. And he'd be like, please stop this. Yeah. Like, <laughs> but like you really can like get in there touching the baby, which is wild. Wow. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. And towards the end, your doctor will like check to see if you're up there like, and you'll get like, they'll stick their hands. Like, like if it's like college, you're just mm-hmm. like, you know, like you're just getting fingered very hard. <laughs> But they'll be like, "There's, her, I can touch your head," and you're like, "This is, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird that there's something in your stomach and that somebody else can feel it. Like it's just yeah. from the inside. Like that part is kind of where you're like, oh. yeah. But it's um, the whole process is is wild. But it's also the minute it's done, you're like, it's been the longest three and a half months since she's been here, and the shortest. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, I was pregnant. Like, uh, like, yeah. like everything's <laughs> kind of like. What the fuck? It's yeah. wild. It's really wild. But yeah, I found when I did the hormones, mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, how'd you feel? I felt crazy. Did you? I felt like an insane person. Okay. I felt bloated, nauseous, mm-hmm. and crampy. Did and you? And I was like, oh, I think I'm going to try and make enough money to have someone else do this. <laughs> oh. I don't want to be pregnant. For if the- this is what it is, I hate it. I understand. So we'll see. <laughs> I understand. And and I under I understand. I understand yeah. that. There is something that is kind of scary about mm-hmm. that. But I, I honestly feel like being pregnant felt different than how I felt on the hormones. Because mm-hmm. it's almost like after you go through the hormones, by the time you get to pregnancy, it's like such a different thing that it's like you've been on 10 times as much. So like, mm-hmm. it's just kind of different. Oh, okay. But yeah, but that being said, I was pretty miserable for a few yeah. months. <laughs> <laughs> just sleeping and puking and drinking cherry it coke in my in my downtime. <laughs> Really? Because I was so grumpy. And I said this to Steve. I was like, Steve, well, we've decided mm. when I am eventually pregnant, mm-hmm. I'm going to be a nightmare. Just live by like, yourself. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yes, we have decided this. <laughs> we have discovered this we about have. you. Yeah, I stayed on antidepressants the whole time. I was like, I'm not letting this shit catch up with me. I mean. I was just like, I'm going to combat it <laughs> before it can get me. <laughs> For everybody's sake. And I'm on like a low dose. And again, there's science out there that says like it's much better to stay on them and not be a fucking crazy person. Yeah, I can imagine. They say stress is like the worst thing for a baby. All of it, yeah. They stay. Somewhere I said, they, they, I listened they, on NPR. Those, those, those is the memes, the most, the memes. those space. Yeah. They do say, they say a lot of stuff. They say a lot of stuff. They do say, they a, lot say a lot of stuff. Yeah. All right, well, look at this. You got any drinking stories since I saw you last? I don't think so. You've been uh, no. preggy preggers. Yeah, just just like I said, just the just the camping trip where I uh, <laughs> I I was I thought I was spacing out enough. You yeah. know what I mean? Like uh-huh. and I was like drinking water, but but I I remember I was pumping and I put the milk in the fridge. And I went to Robbie. I'm like, should I throw away the milk? And he's like, well, how many drinks do you have? I was like, like six. And he's like, throw away the milk. <laughs> so, do not feed that to my daughter. I'm like, <sighs> Like six white claws. It's like, don't you judge me, okay? Which, you can't make milk, yeah. motherfucker. Which also, I've never. Well, I've gotten, I've gotten white claw wasted once, where it was. I was literally hungover for so long after because it's mm-hmm. like malt liquor. But this time, <laughs> drinking white claw on high noons. Did you ever drink those? Uh, yeah, I've had a few. They make yeah. your teeth hurt. <laughs> My teeth Never were had this. my teeth were hurting. I was like, "Why are my is my jaw tight?" And my friend was like, "Oh yeah, because of whatever the sugar or because of whatever they use in them, because it's like so fake and gross and terrible for you <laughs> that it makes your teeth hurt." And that's why it's so delicious. <laughs> so you I don't have know. Seven cavities now. <laughs> I don't know. It was like I was literally like I felt like I had just eaten like steak that was well done like yeah. for three days straight but i was like well i'm not gonna stop with the high noons i guess i'll just ride this out yeah you know, you pain, know what... pain is drunk yeah <laughs> pain is drunk you know what doesn't hurt your teeth <laughs> athletic brewing mm. company <laughs> they do not hurt your t- 
tiny little jaws. No, they don't. No, they don't. But uh, no, that was probably the only time I've gotten a little bit more than buzzed. Yeah. Well, you're camping yeah. anyway. First off, you have to sleep in the woods. You got to prepare for that. Uh, exactly. And then you're doing it with an infant. Come on. Oh, yeah. I brought her to California. Be nice I brought, to her, I brought her on a, on, a, on a time change to the dirt, to the bugs. <laughs> and, then, and then mommy got drunk. So She's ready for number two. Mm. <laughs> Don't report me. <laughs> she holds her a lot. <laughs> I, <laughs> I'm trying to save her head shape. <laughs> Casey, where can people find you? Um, I'm at KSpaceB on the Instagrams and the TikToks. And I'll be um, in Oregon and Seattle in October. Soldiers in September and San Diego sometime in October. I'll have everything up on my Instagram, which again, at KSpaceB. Hell yeah. Casey Balsh. Oh, thank wait, you for, can oh, I say yeah, one more thing? Yeah, I'm sure, so sorry, because otherwise Ari will kill me. I also have a podcast. It's a parenting podcast, but we also talk about like anal and shit like that. So it's like, it's, it's yeah. like, it's like if you're a parent, we're going to get to parenting stuff. And if you're not a parent, we like barely talk about it. Um, <laughs> it's called Never Not Tired. And it's with Ari Finling, who is also very funny and has a three-year-old daughter. And um, it's just a good time over there. So Never Not Tired. Please uh, head over there as well. There you go. You heard it here first. Or second. I don't know. Enjoy Casey Balsham. Thank you for doing the pod. Bye. Thanks. We did it.